Revelation 3.16. So because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich and increased with goods and need of nothing and knowest that that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in a fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, and the shame of nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with I salve, that they mayest see. Let me read number. 16 again. So because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spit you out of my mouth. You make me sick. Ten reasons why you are lukewarm Christian. Ten reasons why you, yes you, yes you, excuse me, you are lukewarm Christian. Hallelujah. And the reason why you're lukewarm Christian because you eat, you are not even hot. Hot mean you're Christian. Cold mean you're a sinner. But lukewarm mean you're striving the offense. That means you're one foot in the world and one foot in the church. That means that you are serving to master. You are serving materialism and you're serving Christian. But you can't be both, my friend. I don't like my coffee or my hot chocolate lukewarm because it don't taste good. So you imagine your life living on the fence. On Monday, you are you are moody. On Tuesday, you are terrible. On Wednesday, you are weird. On Thursday, you are trouble. And Friday, you become freaky. And Saturday, you are sick or in the club. And Sunday, you are singing the melody of God. You are lukewarm. Because each day, you are different. Monday, you are moody. Tuesday, you are terrible. Wednesday, you are weird. Thursday, you are trouble. Hallelujah. And Friday, you say, thank God it's Friday, but Friday you become freaky. And Saturday, you are sick because you've been to the club. You're having a hangover. And Sunday, you are singing the melody of God. You are lukewarm because we are supposed to stay the same. Hallelujah. Blessed. Now, now blessed means attitude. Do you have a beautiful attitude? I, I, I said on my, on my YouTube video. But today I'm dealing with 10 reasons why you are lukewarm Christian. Each day you are different. Friday you are freaky. And Saturday you are sick because you've been to the club. And Sunday you got a nerve to be in the presence of God. Acting like you're saved and, and, and Holy Ghost feel. But you're wearing those tight dress to the deuce men hallelujah you are you are having tattoo on your breast to show men what you got men you wear tight pants to show your cliche hallelujah glory to God but tell the reason why you are lukewarm Christian and number one you are too worldly in conversation can't tell if you are Christian but how you speak. My friend, we ought not be cussers. We ought to be blessers. You can't be talking like the world. We ought to talk like saints. Hallelujah. Number two, you into worldly song rather than listen to Christian worship song. You don't play worldly artists that damn God and you'll listen to them singing about calling a woman bees and whores. How many women they have slept with. Saints are not to be listening to worldly songs. Amen. 
we all not to be listened to to, to kiss. We all not be listened to 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 W H U R only on Sunday, but not through the week or kiss. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Kids involved in Satan's serving. No, we ought to be listening to the melody of our heart. The melody of the gospel song to change our footsteps. We ought not to be listening to worldly songs. It just turns up your flesh. It brings memory of your old lifestyle. It brings it back to Babylon. It brings it back to, to Egypt. So, saints ought not to be listening to worldly songs. Number three, you are, pri you, are, you are a private whore. Sleeping around with big shot such as an executive or CEO businessman. Sleeping with even your pastor. Look at the car you are driving or the house you're living being unemployed. You are a private whore. And it goes for men too. Because men sleep with men. Men sleep with their pastor. Hey, glory to God, it's nasty. Perversion. The God of this society. Fourth reason, you are worshiping things and not being in love with the things of God. You are luxurious and lack rebirth in your life. It's not about things, my friend. Yes. <laughs> because you got a nice car, I don't mean you're blessed. Because you have a big house, I don't mean you're blessed. Because you got money in the bank, don't mean you're blessed. Because a pimp have that. The prostitute have that. The sugar daddies have that. The, hey, hey man, come on. The hustlers have that. But one thing the hustlers don't have, which is Jesus. So the Bible says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. We seeking things and forget about him. We get the blessing and forget about the blesser. We want a healing and forget about a healer. But things don't mean you are blessed. Because, hallelujah, the Bible says, No good thing behold from them and walk rightly before him. If you still getting things and you blessed and you live in mess, that don't mean God didn't give it to you. The devil did. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My fifth reason you let the witch into your life, and now this person is working spells and portions. Sixth reason, you welcome the fear of sorcery into your business, being counseled by the, by, by the spiritists. So, number five and six together, you still work with a witch and sorcery in your life. Now, sorcery means horoscope. You still reading the horoscope. To tell your future. Go to the Bible. Let God tell your future. Hey, go to God. Number seven reason. They use the wisdom of the world, but they are become fool. They become psychologists or philosophy. They listen to Pluto or Aristotle, my friend. The wisdom of this world. The letter kill it, my friend, but the spirit make this alive. If you want to be live, listen to the Spirit. Get in the Spirit. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 3, 9, For the wisdom of the world is foolish with God, for it is written, he have, he have taken the wise in their own craftiness. Hallelujah. Our wants is greediness when the Holy Spirit say, He say He will satisfy us. In Psalms 23, you say, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Why you should not want? Because in Philippians 4 19, say, But my God shall supply all my need according to riches in glory by Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Ten reasons why Christians, hallelujah, are lukewarm Christians. Ninth reason. The ninth reason is where the rubber hit the road. You wear expensive clothes when the when the Holy Scriptures say Solomon was not glamorous. Solomon was a king, but Solomon was not glamorous. The Bible say in Matthew 6 26, it said, And yet I send to you 
that even Solomon in all his glory was not a rare like none of these. Hey, glory to God. Amen. I'm talking about Solomon, the richest man, until Jesus came on the scene and said, I'm the more better than Solomon. Though he was a king, he did not show off his power of being rich. Not with prosperous prosperity. Look at the prosperity preachers now in our society. They say they are blessed. They wear the best body suits. They wear the best alligator shoes. They look like a peacock. But don't mean you're blessed in your mess. Tenth reason, women being, women also, women being modest, not dressing like the world, but we are to, to read the Holy Scripture how to dress as becoming saints or Christians. Not like Jezebel, the evil, wicked witch. In 1 Peter 3, 3, it says, Who's adoring, let it not be the outward adoring of plaiting the hair, and wearing of gold, or putting on of pearl. Jezebel looked like this scenery, my friend. In 1 Timothy 2, 9, it says, In like manner also, the woman adore themselves in modest apparel. What's modest apparel? You don't look flashy like you're going to the Oscar. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. You don't dress like the world with shamefacedness and severity, not with brighted hair of gold or pearl or costly or rare. You don't dress to kill. You dressed in humility. The church is not an Oscar place. The church is not an entertainment center. The church is not where we go show off our money suits or pretty expensive dress, but we go to hear the word of God. We don't render our garment, but we render our heart. The church is not a fashion show, my friend. But now in our society, it's that way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are dressed as becoming saints and not ants. Ten reasons why lukewarm Christian. Ten reasons why you are a lukewarm Christian. And these are the qualifications, my friend, of why you are a lukewarm Christian. Because it's the way you dress. It's the way you talk. It's where all these things, that's why I define you as being a lukewarm Christian. And God wants you to be hot. God wants you to be in fervent fire to draw the sinner man to Christ. You ain't drawing a sinner man to Christ when you're dressing in a Uchi Mama clothes. Hallelujah. Paul said, when I preach to other, I make myself a castaway. It's not about me. It's about Jesus Christ. When you talking to a to a sinner man, he ain't looking at the, the gospel. He looking at your skirt. Hallelujah. He looking at the way you look, you where you're tight, where your clothes fit your behind. He look at the way you, your your shirt fits your breast. But we are dressed as becoming saints. Amen. You can't tell a Christian from a saint now. Because they're dressed alike. But we are to dress in modest apparel. Hey, glory to God. Dressed not to kill, but dressed to save. Hey, glory to God. 